following presentation is controversial and may be offensive to some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi, my name is Josh and this is a fish. In just a few minutes, I'm going to show you how this fish will help you get laid. And it'll do it without teaching you cheesy pickup lines that don't work, without letting you spend a dime on dinners and drinks, and without anyone ever noticing you're using his techniques on them. But first, I gotta warn you. I've taught this technique you're about to learn to over 110,000 guys just like you who live in over 30 countries around the world. And it's going to make hot women stare at you and uncontrollably chase you. But to be fair to the other 100,000 plus guys who've shoved money in my pockets to teach them this technique already, I'm only going to be able to leave this video up for 24 hours. So this is literally the only chance you'll get to see this video all the way through. And if you actually think you have something better to do than learn this technique, then you're either gay, not that there's anything wrong with that if you are, uh, or you're so old you piss dust. If you consider yourself an above average or even typical guy, stick around, this is totally for you. And if you watch until the end of the webinar, I'm going to give you the system that is literally step by step and is proven to create sexual intrigue that is so compelling and so powerful that almost any girl you use it on will find their panties around their knees soaked to the max before she can even say my name is. Listen, I pulled this off so many times, I've lost count. It even works if she thinks you're unattractive. In fact, if you follow my step-by-step -step method to the letter, it's literally out of her control. She has to respond. Wouldn't that be a secret you'd love to know? Well, this is a fact. All women go through the same exact process every time they decide to sleep with a guy. And trust me, you've never seen anything like this before, so make sure you watch this video to the very end. But first, I'm going to tell you a sex story. Yeah, I know most guys would tell you all about their different media appearances they've done, and all the books they've authored, blah, blah. And yeah, I could bore you with that crap. I have a credentialed resume that would make the biggest player you know run home to his mama. But listen, if you're smart, you don't give a damn about that. And I bet you don't. You probably just want the juice, the secret sauce, and I'm going to get to that in just a few seconds. Right after my sex story. Deal? Cool. So how did this skinny little loser looking dude go from zero to sleeping with up to 15 new hotties a month? Did I get rich? Did I memorize line after lame ass line? Did I put on pheromone cologne? Hell no. The truth is pretty brutal. I was an absolute leper with women until I discovered this system. If you looked up whipped in the dictionary, it'd say, see Josh Pellisier. In fact, if I hadn't hit complete rock bottom, I'd probably still be terrible to this day. You see, several years ago, I was living with my complete ice queen of an ex-girlfriend in North Carolina. She was hot, young, and she knew it. You know, a total Barbie who always gives what she wants. And I thought she was amazing in bed. Now that I've been with a few hundred more women, I wouldn't even rate her a five. But listen, back then, the old Josh did anything she wanted. If she wanted to move to North Carolina, I said, okay, let's go. She wanted to keep in touch with her ex-boyfriend. I told her, it's okay, I understand. She wanted me to pay for the apartment. I didn't want to look like a deadbeat, so I said, I'll work two jobs, no problem. I just wanted to make her happy. But one brutally hot day, I come home from a 14-hour shift at the coffee shop I worked at to find her freaking out. She told me that her dad was making a surprise visit, and she never told him that she was dating anyone, and definitely not that she was living with someone. And the worst part? He was showing up that night. So she told me to get all my stuff and leave the house for a couple of days so he wouldn't find out that I lived there with her. And, like the little boy that I was, I left. I got all my stuff, packed it into my little crappy black Honda Accord, and drove out not having any idea where I'd go. I didn't have any friends in town, and I was way too proud to ask some random person if I could stay with them, so I drove around until I found a vacant house that was for sale, and I parked behind it hoping no one would notice me sleeping in my car. Now, it wouldn't have been too bad, really, but I had to do it for three days in a row, and on the third day, something happened, and I snapped. See, I had to sleep with my windows open because it was way too hot to close them. But the mosquitoes were so bad that I had to use a blanket to keep them off me. So I only slept about two hours each night, and I couldn't even lean the driver's seat back because all my stuff was packed in the back seat behind me. So I had to sleep sitting up 
in the driver's seat covered in a blanket in the sweltering heat behind a vacant house like a hobo. And then it happened. I was half asleep and I hear, freeze, put your hands where I can see them. I freak out, of course. So in a daze, I put my hands out the window and a swarm of police officers jog over to my car with their guns out and aim at my window. Apparently, the neighbor had seen a strange car parked behind the vacant lot and called the police. I guess I would have done the same thing. After they calmed down and realized I wasn't some national threat, they asked me what I was doing there. And that's when I did it. I told them that my girlfriend's dad was in town and he didn't know we were dating, so I had to sleep in my car for a few days. That's when one cop turned off his flashlight, looked at the other cop in complete disbelief, and turned to me and said, Seriously? I was tired and I didn't have the energy to explain more, so I just said, Yeah. I think he was still trying to be professional, so he told me that I needed to go somewhere else, and he told me to try sleeping in the Walmart parking lot. And as he was turning to walk back to his car, I heard him say, 